it's me, I'm Cam. The nightly news. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Fix it. Awesome. Great. That's going to be in there. This is the nightly news. Different from tennis news, which is where I talk about tennis. This is going to be the nightly news where I talk about things at night. I'm very, very creative when it comes to naming. Browse. If I like something, I'll talk about it and mainly express my views. Sometimes I say funny things. So let's open up Chrome and let's hope that since I'm casting it, no porn shows up. But I can just edit that out if any does. So you're probably like, wait, I can only see a little bit of the screen. What is going to happen when you want to show me something? Got that covered? Yeah. Second camera. Right now it's hanging upside down in its waterproof case by a string. And the string's not tied to anything. It's just wide enough. There's like a little gap in the plastic in the waterproof case for like a mount and I have a string from a sweatshirt that's just thick enough to fit in between there and so I have it it's just hanging from a string so I have a pillow underneath everything over there to catch the camera if it falls which it shouldn't before I even get into this I should probably give everybody like a a rundown for what you should look for in what I'm about to say. Cam, go tell everyone your incredibly well thought out political views. Oh, and do it while you look like Michael Sarah from Youth in Revolt. So I'm like not quite libertarian, but that's probably the closest to what I am. I look really liberal, and I probably sound really liberal. And I probably am really liberal. I also have a lot of times I'm like, oh, that's a Republican point of view. Well, I'm one of those, I see things and I have my own view on it. And it's not always one or the other. It's, you know, it's whatever I feel like it's going to be. When it comes to Trump, in terms of politics, I don't even think he can really gauge his own skills on that. So, who am I to judge? And from what I've seen, and heard about his past, he doesn't sound like the businessman he makes himself out to be. There are better businessmen. But, he got the job, so... Oh, disinfectant. I, I believe what I watched was an uncut interview. At least it's like three minutes of what he, what he says. I don't get how people are able to defend him still. I thought it would be kind of like, a, he didn't say inject does he he talks about an injection a direct injection to fight the virus there could be context around it that i miss no no context really would help that like he he says have we tried later he <laughs> it's i can't do a trump but again i have no idea I, so maybe maybe you know he could could have been on to something with that i don't think so though and I can't wait to hear how well the economy is doing. Oh, it's going to be nice tomorrow. Ooh, Kim Jong-un. This is fun. Okay. Kim Jong-un's absence and North Korea's silence keep rumor mill churning. Rumors about the North Korean leader's health and speculation over his possible death have only increased over the past two weeks. Which is nuts. Because, uh, like, South Korea's saying that he's still in North Korea. No. Uh, in the province that is, uh compounds in. Excuse me. Wow. Uh, South Korea saying that China is sending aids to look at him. That's not on here. Sorry. That's I looked at some stuff earlier. And it all stems from TMZ. His death. He'll still die young. Um, but I don't. It's TMZ. It's really hard to be like, oh, that sounds credible. And the rest is speculation. And child was the sister, the oldest one. We're gonna learn some things about Kim Jong Un today. He has four siblings: his sister Kim Yo Jong, Kim Jong Nam, 
Kim Jong Chul and Kim Sol Sang. Oh, they had an older half brother too who was assassinated in February 2017. Ah, his older brother Kim Jong Chul was born in 1981, while his younger sister Kim Yo Jong is believed to have been born in 1987. What happened to Kim Jong Chul? Kim Jong Il favored his youngest son. Ah. Uh, Let's do Australia! I don't know. I don't know how to interpret Australian news. There's a lot of swearing. It's like the top article. I mean, it's sorted by most recent. The top article is uh, watching America in horror. Australia's number one. Let's see if something crazy happens. Already a subscriber? No. Heh heh heh, beat it. Cue that Michael Jackson song. Mm. And now we go to something else. Kind of end. Oh, of course. You don't go very far in Canadian news without seeing the good old Celine Dion. Justin Bieber's not too far back, and then Michael Bublé. That was a nice addition. I also found out The Weeknd. There's some awesome Canadians. Will Sasso. The top left up there. I don't know who that is, but he's probably pretty good. School's closed. Extended to May 31st. Damn. For, here's some news. Oh, that'll I'll make news right now. Uh, I don't even need this. People are protesting the lockdown. Like, something that you're able to protest. Come on. It's like the no vaccines thing. Like, why are you doing this? It just hurts society as a whole. If you don't believe in it, don't believe in it. That's fine. Don't believe in it. Don't make it your goal to make other people stupid. Back to news. It might just be a whole bunch of cuts of me and my opinions. Fun cam talk. I think I just turned everybody against me pretty well. Uh, if not, I can quickly talk about guns. Even this is mixed, because I, like, I get pistols and like a semi-automatic hunting rifle. That all makes sense. Assault rifles, that's an easy one. Assault rifles are just always a no. Like, why do you need to shoot three bullets in a second? A no animal should be coming at you that fast. Either you fucked up, or you fucked up. And either way, you don't deserve a fast shooting gun. Like, you deserve to just eat your fate. And like a personal pistol, young kids learn well. They should definitely be trained at a young age, even in school. Not like those senators that are saying like four or five <laughs> training uh, with Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, he gets politicians to say that, yeah, we should definitely have a K through 12 program for kids. I'm saying like middle school, you introduce them to like a 22, just in terms of safety. All right, so what do you do if you find a gun? Nothing. You tell someone that's old enough to handle a gun. Like that. Something like that. Treating it like sex in middle school. Because I learned about sex in middle school. It's normal. I mean, I learned about it in elementary school. I learned about it in school in middle school. That's another one. Like That was a big controversy that just flew over my head. Because why were people mad? My sex ed class was so tame. They showed us how to put a condom on. I don't even think it was a banana. I think we actually had like a plastic dildo. It wasn't that bad. Everyone yelled penis and vagina. Just like, hey, everyone's got it. Everyone's gonna see it. So here's what it is. That's all it was. We <laughs> didn't have demonstrations outside of the condom. Uh, we didn't have any girls come up like, okay, now put this on there without using your hands. Nothing like that. Like, I don't. It, I didn't see why parents are freaking out about it. One girl got naked. Teach guns, like sex, then give them a little bit of introduction. Maybe do that with sex too in high school, a little bit of hands-on experience. But get kids going with it. 
it's the same thing with alcohol. So many countries are proven to have better alcohol these tendencies amongst youth and population in general when they start at a younger age because they just don't have that drive to want to do it, that kind of like rebelliousness behind it. It's ridiculous how many different political views there are. If I went through and bulleted off Democratic, Republican things, I would make a list completely separate from people that grew up in my house. Like, what do you think other people across a whole state are going to do? They're going to be like, yeah, well, let's do, let's do two parties. We don't need three, maybe three. We'll have like an other that'll get like 4% each year, just in case. And I know, no, it's changing. We have the independent party now. Cool, you have three out of uh, Canada. I don't really know from my voting experience this year. There were a lot of parties, but I moved here pretty late in the year, so I didn't have much background on any of the parties. So, uh, I'd have to look them all up again. If you've seen my videos, you'll understand that I didn't really write anything down to do it. I just kind of went, did a quick research, and picked based on what I saw in that quick research. So you know, best form of research. At least know what I would like to have. I don't even think presidency is the right one. Here, let's spin down this road real quick. I think a military junta probably the best scheme because it's the most powerful in charge, so the people are going to follow. With that, you can find and appoint the best scientists, you know, in their field, respectively, and pull them into you and say, hey, do this. You don't even have to ask. Like, that's the best part, is you basically just tell people to do that. But yeah, so that's me. Try and stay as open-minded as possible. Um, if I see something that really goes against what I say, what I think, and I try and, like, look into it and see why there's a backing, why, you know, people are talking about it. I usually give it a shot. The first shot's not always the most objective shot. It's usually like, oh yeah, really? Fucking prove it. And then, no matter what, they don't, because that's my mindset. Like, if I see it two or three more times, I'll be like, okay, well, maybe. Hopefully I still have some people watching after this. Uh, outro, outro, what's gonna be a fun one? Here he is. Cam sets up for the big dive attempt. He's not sure if he'll be able to do it, but he needs a perfect 10 rating.